It's the channel that you choose. We're coming back to YouTube. Make sure you turn on them notifications. Because it looks like I'm back on that shadow band and YouTube is hating. Stay to the very end to find out how you can win something free. Like an Xbox or a PlayStation. Y'all want to see something interesting? Watch this. By now, you've probably heard of or seen the video showing 17-year-old Laquan McDonald being shot 16 times by a police officer over a year ago in Chicago. But why are we just seeing the video now? Because there was a cover-up. Here's how it went down. Right after the killing, a police spokesman claimed that McDonald had been crazed, that he slashed tires on a squad car and damaged a windshield. They said that he refused orders to drop a knife and lunged at police before the officer opened fire in self-defense, shooting him in the chest. But none of that happened. The newly released dash cam footage shows McDonald walking away from officers before being shot just seconds after the shooter, police officer Jason Van Dyke, arrived on the scene. After the initial shot, McDonald falls to the ground and Van Dyke keeps shooting. At the time, the police claimed self-defense and it looked like the case would soon be forgotten, like most police shootings across the country. But then a whistleblower informed a local journalist and lawyer that the police version wasn't true. The two of them put out a public statement asking the police to release any video they had of the incident. Months later, the journalist got a copy of the official autopsy. Rather than just a shot to the chest, it showed that Officer Van Dyke unloaded his gun into the victim. McDonald was shot in the scalp, neck, left chest, right chest, left elbow, left forearm, right arm, right hand, right leg, and in the back. Soon after, lawyers for the family obtained the dash cam video, and before they even filed a lawsuit, the city gave the family $5 million. Under the settlement terms, they would keep the video confidential. But another reporter, Brandon Smith, wanted to make sure the public saw what the police were hiding. After he and 15 other journalists had their Freedom of Information Act requests rejected from the city, Smith decided to sue the police. Earlier this month, he won. The judge ruled that the police had to release the footage. After the ruling, but before the video was actually released, Officer Van Dyke was charged with first-degree murder. He's the first on-duty Chicago cop to face that charge in almost 35 years. But whether he's convicted remains to be seen. The city's mayor, Rahm Emanuel, says Van Dyke will face justice and that people need to come together to, quote, heal. But while Van Dyke was the shooter, many people in the Chicago Police Department and Emanuel's administration spent a year trying to cover up what happened. So will they face justice too? You know something funny, which ain't funny? Watch this. So this is not easy, and I don't expect it to be easy. I th my findings are an appropriate sentence would be 81 months in the Illinois Department of Corrections, two years mandatory supervised release. Mr. Van Dyke, you have two uh, rights I have to inform you of. One, the first right is you have a right to have me reconsider your sentence. That means within 30 days, you'd have to file a written document uh, called a motion to reconsider. In that written document, it must contain all the reasons why you want me to reconsider your sentence. If you could not afford an attorney uh, for that motion and you wanted to have one in preparation of it, the state would pay for that attorney. Do you understand that right? You have to answer yes or no, or yes. you don't know. Okay. The next right is you will have the right to appeal both the trial and the sentencing. Again, within 30 days, you'd have to file a different written document, and that document is called a notice of appeal. If you could not afford the appeal, the state would pay for your lawyer, would pay for your transcripts and all filing fees if you couldn't afford your uh, appeal. Do you understand that right also? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. There'll be a short reason. Well, that's the end of the courts of reasons. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe. Now, I know what y'all thinking, Nash. Why I show those videos? What is the correlation to this? Because uh, Mr. Green, do y'all know who Mr. Green is? If you don't, watch this. Mr. Green was to some degree, even though he had just finished uh, 
leading police officers on a, a lengthy and a high speed chase, his inclination at that particular point was to acquiesce to what the officers want. Let me see your hands. Put your hands behind your back. Give me your fucking hands. Put your hands behind your back. Taser, taser, taser. Put your hands behind your back. You're about to get it again if you don't put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, I'm sorry. What's problematic for me uh, is that Mr. Green is now left on the ground, on his stomach, handcuffed in a prone position. And officers are trained throughout the United States that once there's a struggle of this nature, the individual's handcuffed that you need to push him off onto his side or get him in a sitting position so you can um, l- allow that breathing to be unimpeded by his own body weight. And that didn't happen for at least, for based on my calculation, nine minutes where Mr. Green was left alone. And then when he wasn't left alone and he tried to get over onto his side, Another trooper pushed him down using his foot against the lower back and buttocks of Mr. Green. And I didn't understand that. There was absolutely no reason for that. Under no circumstances should Mr. Green have been drugged by his ankle shackles. That was malicious, sadistic, completely unnecessary. And the officer that did it's going to have to be held account. Watch this. In Green's death and what led up to it, but on the tape, Trooper Chris Hollingsworth is heard explaining what happened. I beat the ever living f- out of him, choked him, and everything else trying to get him under control. And the f- was still fighting, and we were still wrestling with him, trying to hold him down because he was spitting blood everywhere. And then all of a sudden, he just went limp. Green's family is suing the Louisiana State Police for wrongful death. They say the agency initially claimed Green died after crashing into a tree during the chase. CBS News has confirmed an autopsy report showed head injuries, a broken breastbone, and a torn aorta were factors in his death. Colonel Lamar Davis. Having, you know, contacted and and spoken with the Green family, I can feel their pain. The Louisiana State Police fired two of the troopers and suspended another. Last fall, just hours after learning he would be fired, Trooper Hollingsworth died in a single car crash. So let me do this real quick. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? Simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe. Then join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H, one word. That's where you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to personally follow you back, like your pictures and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. What it up with the visionaries? You know they hate us. You know they hate us. Think about that. You not only hold this man in a chokehold, they got that man like this on the ground and then deployed the taser. Do y'all know that tasers actually damn near give you a mild form of a heart attack? Did y'all know that? That could actually, when you get tased, you actually technically could mess your entire heart up for the rest of your life. There's always this funny notion, and this is why I don't argue with people who ain't with me. Because I, I see it's simple. Y'all didn't believe my grandparents when my grandparents were saying this shit was happening. Your grandparents didn't believe my grandparents. Your parents didn't believe my parents. And y'all don't believe us. So you're the enemy. Yeah, I'm saying that. If you ain't with me, you against me. That's why I tell people all the time when it comes to politics and police brutality and all that shit and everything like that, because we not on the same page. I'm trying to protect my kid because I know if something happened to me, oh, I can guarantee you there's going to be a lot of badges with a lot of blood on it. Guaranteed. See, I don't break the law. I don't run yellow lights. I don't do any of that. I don't even have a strap of my own. No, I don't. No. You know why? Because I kind of got this thing called power. And with power comes great responsibility. But I only got that power from knowledge. So you can only be powerful when you're knowledgeable. That's one of the things y'all had to learn. 
and use. So it's a year right now since George Floyd died, was murdered. And I know what y'all thinking. Oh, well, Joe Biden passed the Asian hate bill law and all that stuff and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read for y'all, actually, because none of you... None of you people read it. None of you read it. I don't care what any of y'all said. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a nice, 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 super nice audio book for you. Since I know how to read proficiently, we're going to do that so we can shut y'all up about certain things. These cops hate us. That's hate, bro. And I'm so glad this buster off himself. He had a single car crash in which he passed. He knew what was coming. But we need those others arrested. Yeah, we need those others arrested. I'm not, I'm not for the peace. I'm not for any of that, bro. Y'all don't understand something, man. What y'all don't understand is, as a black man, we try to inflict our pain or misfortune on people who look like us because we feel they'll understand sorry bro we can't do that man that's why i say bro we got to get this bread up get these jobs in order buy these towns create our own police departments so we can show the rest of the world how it go oh and by the way i forget what the town is called in in georgia but everybody in that town has to own a gun we'll be enacting that law too because when you decide that you want to come and you want to tear some shit up around here, and what I mean tear some shit up, I mean take life, our lives. The correlation really is this. Think about this. The cops lied. What? Yeah. Laquan McDonald, they lied on the report. With Mr. Green, they lied on the report. They said he died from a car crash. What? No, no, no. You heard the cops say it. he killed him, basically. And I need y'all to understand something, because I know the way I titled it, why I got y'all waiting so long to see this is why Black Lives Matter is to blame for this. Do y'all understand without Black Lives Matter, there's no push for body cams? Me, myself, I'm not a Black Lives Matter person, but what I'm not going to do is I'm not about to allow y'all to keep on disparaging these people when they have done some good. Yeah, body cameras are because of the push from Black Lives Matter, by the way. Now, if you disagree with that, I don't know what to tell you, but go do your goddamn research, but it is what it is. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Make sure you check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Stream the music, study Nash music if you have not. And you made it this far and haven't subscribed, why the hell not? Oh, I know why you're here. Because you want to learn how you can win that PS5 or Xbox, right? Simple. Be an active subscriber, like, and comment on all of the videos. And you're automatically entered to win. The more you comment, the more you increase the chances to win. I'll check you out on the next video.